Hey, hey, nephews, Uncle Ism on your line one more time, man. Got this club on in Atlanta, man. You got drugged by a couple chicks, man. You know, y'all out here thinking show lucky day. You got you a two-piece, man. We got about to go do the threesome. Ooh, my lucky day. I wonder why it's your lucky day. So y'all know I'm going to always keep y'all in the loop. If you know me, y'all know that, that Army Wednesdays is for the ladies. And I always make sure all the ladies have a good time. Club owner. If I ever see women at my bar um, buying drinks by themselves with no Oh man, I normally will offer them extra drinks or offer from discounts on food or free hookah. You know, I just like to make sure everybody is enjoying themselves. So last night, if you know me, y'all know that R&B Wednesdays is for the ladies. And I always make sure all, all the ladies have a good time. If I ever see women at my bar um, buying drinks by themselves with no man i normally will offer them extra drinks or offer from discounts on food or free hookah you know i just like to make sure everybody's enjoying themselves so last night i randomly ran into two females that was at the bar and um no you said free stuff for the ladies free stuff and make sure the ladies enjoying themselves i heard you say nothing about the fellas man I said I'm buying drinks, so I took some shots with them, and it was nothing, nothing too major. Um, wasn't trying to holler at them or anything like that. It's just I seen two two young black women buying drinks on their own, so I added something onto what they had going on. So I um I go back to my section. I'm partying. I consistently walk around my club and text on tables. Um, this is just something that I do. I'm always making sure that my servers are taking care of the people that I brought into my establishment. So I walked around the club, make sure everybody's okay. I wound up going back to the bar, the young ladies sit over there. I greet them again. You know, this time I I, I joined into conversation with them. You know, I asked them where they're from. They say Carolina. You know, um, I asked what part, you know, because I, I lived in Carolina for a little bit. Um, So we had... Pay attention, nephews. Have small chats, and then um, I guess my bartender to give us another round of shots. So we take the shots, boom, I leave. I go back to my section. And then the night comes, we all in there, me and my homeboys, some females, we all just talking loud. We saying we about to go to an after hour. So the young ladies are still in there too. So they ask, they're like, hey, um, isn't that you right there? You know, we got the picture of me inside of the club. I'm like, yeah, that's me. Well, I actually, I always tell people it ain't me because I my mom put that up there. So I'll be like, nah, it ain't me. It ain't me. So Anyways, he's like, y'all going somewhere after us? I'm like, yeah, we're going to after hours. So they're like, oh, can we go? I'm like, yeah, that's cool. So I right, bet we're going to call our Uber. So I'm like, oh, well, we all about the mob down there. Y'all can just rock, jump in with us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we always does this. This is not nothing out the normal. This is. Pay attention, nephews. Just me being regular kicking shit. You know what I'm saying? So boom, they jump in the car. We ride to um the after hour. It's like 18 minutes away from the club. We get to after hour, we get some more. So now I'm like, I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? So I tell the girls, I'm like, hey, look, y'all gonna um, call an Uber because um, we about to all get up out of here. So they're like, yeah, okay, bet. So when they call an Uber, the Uber like 20 minutes away. So I'm like, well, in like a couple minutes, it's going to drop down. So we wait like eight more minutes. It ain't really drop down too much. So at this time, it's like five, five 35, 40 or something like that a.m. So I'm really burnt. Like, I'm drunk as hell, bro. Like, I'm like, nigga, if I stay here any longer, I'm not going to be able to drive home. My crib only like, like eight minutes up the street. So I'm like, look, um, call an Uber because um, we about to all get up out of here. So they're like, yeah, okay, bet. So when they call an Uber, the Uber like, like 20 minutes away. So I'm like, well, in like a couple minutes, it's going to drop down. So we wait like eight, eight more minutes. It ain't really dropped down too much. So at this time, it's like 5, 35, 40 or something like that a.m. So I'm really burnt. Like, I'm drunk as hell, bro. Like, I'm like, nigga, if I stay here any longer, I'm not going to be able to drive home. My, my crib only like eight minutes up the street. So I'm like, look, y'all can call an Uber from my building because I'm not taking them in my building because there's no need. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't pressed because my building is so secure. You know, you can't get in. Can't get on the elevator, you can't get in the building, you can't do nothing at my building. So I'm like, I can just ride with me to the building and call the 
people from there. At least I'd be in my parking garage where I can. Well, you was playing it safe, nephew. But why was this your lucky day? You the club owner? Was you flexing? Goddamn. Go go on upstairs, go to home. So I um we jump in the whip. So they like, um, take a shot, take a shot. I'm like, nah, I don't want no more liquor. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm lit, I'm toasted. So mm, they was doing you like peer pressure, hmm? Hmm. It's a gas station on the corner. So I stop at the gas station, grab me a water and a, a slim jump. So and a sprite. I always I always do this. I always have a sprite for the morning because I'll be feeling mad sick and I don't like ginger ale. So I got them um, stop at the store. So I go in the store, I get that, boom, I get back in the car. So they're like, how far is the house from here? So I'm like, it's like three minutes up the street. They're like, all right, bet. They're like, well, um, it's only a little bit left of liquor. We got to this last shot. We might not even see you no more, but we appreciate the hospitality and you know, make sure we good. Da, da, da. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Take the drink. But I thought you said you was lit, nephew. Peer pressure, huh? home i made it to the, my house that's the last thing i remember y'all i woke up at i think like 12 30 this morning afternoon these girls done took both my cubans it's like 60k took four of my gold diamond rings my pistol and a couple thousand out of my pocket mm, 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 mm. nephew Y'all do this same thing when y'all take y'all self down there with them passports, man. That's why I tell you, man, you got to be careful what you're doing, man. Just because you got a passport, that ain't the end all be all. They'll roofie you in a minute, man. But I guarantee you, it was two big forehead light skin batches. Even the only kind of brawls y'all like. Nephew. Let's continue. I don't even remember what the fuck happened, yo. But now, I came to the hospital and they're giving me IVs and all type of stuff. I would never in a million years would have thought that that would have happened to me. For real. Sounds like a good dude, man. Sounds like a cool dude bar owner you know what i'm saying and it don't mean you can't trust no one you just can't trust them two batches that you ran into that night bro like never and the drug that they gave me if they would have gave me too much of it i would have od on the it, devil's you know breath okay. yeah they do the devil's breath down there in that columbia in that dominican you know what i mean so you players got to be careful out here, man. Just because you go to another country ain't the end all be all. You got to have your man analytics, your intuition, your man tuition, your Mac tuition, man. Something not right about these chicks. Something is off right here. And hopefully your spidey senses, if you want to call it that, will start tingling. You know what I mean? It's always something up they sleeve when it's two girls on one dude, man. Because one could be going through the house while the other one keeping an eye on you, man. These are principles that's been going on with the, the culture for years with 304s. Are you a fool? This happens in Miami. This happens overseas, Vegas. A lot of people just get their pockets ran and never say nothing about it. They watch is lifted. Yeah, something in your drink. They still been doing the drops. Come on, man. Let's continue. Could have OD. Mm. Mm, 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 nephew. These girls are stupid. Just dumb because. No, nephew. You got to look yourself in that mirror and say, I was stupid. I got played. Don't blame the broads. They stupid ass actually used a debit card in my club. Yo, stupid ass took the drink and said you was lit and said, okay, and let them peer pressure you. Use a debit card in the club. So I have the transactions and I'm able to pull your name and everything from the bank. All your information. Then y'all call the Uber to my club. Are you going to hold yourself accountable, nephew, and say, "Man, I shouldn't have never messed with these chicks. Something told me." Don't let this be you, nephew. Listen to my story. That's what he should be saying instead of talking about how silly these brawls is. Because you could be out of here and not be talking to us. So you need to blame yourself. It's a lot of men blame other people, and blame brawls, blame their religion, blame their father, their mother. For something that they doing. Yeah. The man in the mirror. 
Go ahead, nephew. Got you on Spam was getting out of the Uber, so I mm -hmm. got the license plate from the car. They also took an Uber from where we was at. They got cameras. So, well, what about you? The police got to get that information because I can't get that. But for my restaurant, I got you, bro. Like, and I say that to say, like, I really don't care what happened to y'all. But I know one thing: y'all asked for me to jail. Y'all niggas could have took me away from my motherfucking kids. No, no, you could have took yourself away from your kids because you took the peer pressure and you took the drink that you said you was already lit. Don't blame it on the batch. For real, my son would have had to deal with watching his dad on Google or something saying his dad. No, you put yourself in that situation, nephew. Dad overdose, you know what I'm saying? Like, Niggas got to be more careful. No, no, no. Not niggas got to be more careful. This nigga right here got to be more careful. Me, I did it. Man in the mirror. More aware. And I'm, I'm always aware. Not you not. Oh, man. Get the. How you more aware and you just got roofy, nephew? You ain't blamed yourself one time. You don't want to mess with these two. Uh. You know they was halfway pretty, halfway cute. As you wouldn't have been trying to deal with them. You got two little uh pretty bras, blew a little smoke up their fart box. Yeah, I own the club. You probably was high side and flossing. That's what I said right there. You not ready. These pretty bras. This is what they'll do to you, man. It's gonna be like poison ivy. You think it's gonna come in a ugly package? It's gonna come in a pretty package, and you never seen it coming. The underhand screwball. But this time right here changes everything. It should change your way of thinking and partying and being drunk in your club. Because when you're drunk, your head is not on a swivel. Because I really don't remember nothing. Like, so they whapped and tapped on your head. I don't remember anything. After that, but for them to be able to get my chains off of me, it's crazy. No, it's not. No, it's not. I was slipping, and they got me for my Cubans. Say it, nephew. The first sign in that of an addict is to admit. The first sign of taking self-inventory, self-reflection, self-introspection. But all that could be, could be, uh, got that. I got insurance. Exactly. Just happy that I'm still here. There you go, nephew. I got another day to see my kids. There you yeah. go. So you shouldn't have been drinking in the first place. If you're acting like you're living for your kids, live for yourself. And then you'll see your kids. So if you live for yourself, the kids will be there. Self preservation. You got to take care of yourself so you can be here for the kids and not have drinks with two pretty light skinned batches. Don't you know they don't love you, fool? They love themselves. <laughs> this is the game. Oh, nephew, don't let this be you. That's really all that do matter, man. There you go. But be easy. You Carolina girl, Gabby, we going to find you. So you know, most definitely, there was some pretty little broads. Nephew got himself, you know, in a situation. This is why I do this. So don't let this be you, nephew. In clear news.